Sabado, you seem like a pretty normal guy. You want you set up this YouTube channel. It sounds good. It looks good. It seems professional. You seem like you're on your way. You know, how did you do it? Well, folks, you're in luck because today I'm going to talk to you very briefly about how I set up my YouTube channel. Um, I know it's it's it's. But before I do that, I want to thank you for uh, coming to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. And if you find anything on here useful, interesting, entertaining, or all of the above, or any of the above, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know that you're thinking about me. And, and if you have any questions, put comments in the questions because, again, my mantra is is if I care enough about you to answer your question, it's always going to be the truth. And I care about each and every one of you, and I am going to tell you the truth. So uh, we're getting off to a good start with this channel. I think uh, you know we're starting to get people interest. People are starting to show some interest in, in what we're doing, but. But show them that you, you know, we, we really want to push this out to as many people as we can. And, you know, there's always the algorithm and all of those types of things. And so I just, you know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know you're thinking about me. It doesn't cost you anything. And I'll never try to sell you anything. Um, but with that, let's get into it. So going back to where I started, Sabado, you started this YouTube channel. How'd you do it? It seems like it's constantly getting better. The first video looked this way. The second video looked this way. And. Now you have professional level sound. You've got great light in your face, um, even though I think you could probably see the light rings, but you know, we'll deal with that another day. But how, do you, how are you doing it? And so I thought I'd walk you through. Here's how I started my YouTube channel. Um, the first thing I, I realized is nothing really got done by just thinking about it, so just start. Do I have a way to record myself? Do I have a way to put it on the computer? And if the answer is yes to those questions, you don't necessarily have to be a YouTube sensation out of the gate. You just get started. What are, what's the message that you want to give to people? The, the beauty of YouTube are the messages that we give are messages that are seen by people all around the world with different languages and, and so on. And people just wanting to see what's it like in different parts of the world and how do different people think. And there's going to be somebody as unique as we feel like we are. There's going to be somebody else in the world that might be interested in something that you might have to say. So, Number one is just start. And then as you take a look at that video, just like you do in life, don't try to make whole, all your wholesale changes right away, but take a look at your video and try to figure out what do I like about my video? What do I don't like in, about my videos? When I was working, we used to call those plus deltas. What went well? What didn't go well? And, and so usually it's going to be the same host of things. People may not feel as comfortable with the video itself. Um, you know, is the camera the right camera for you? Does it does it does the color wash out? Does the sound not sound good? Uh, does the lighting does it does it give you crazy shadows and things like that? And so you take a look at your video and if you and the pieces that you like, you use. So for example, my first video, I used my iPad and I looked at the video, the lighting wasn't as great as I wanted it to be, the, the video itself wasn't the quality that I wanted it. So the next time I went to my computer and I used my 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 Mac and used the, the, the camera on there and talked directly into that. I was pretty happy with that. But where it sat in my house, it was disruptive to other folks. And so I didn't want to use that in that room because, again, I, I like you, when you're doing a YouTube video, you want to think about what you're saying. You want to be sincere. You don't want to miss things. And so you need to have a space where you're not necessarily around a TV or around people talking or dogs barking or, or things like that, uh, a place where you could just have your thoughts uh, nice and, and collected. Uh, then I, I, I realized that I want to do it in another place. And I started to look at what kind of camera I went on. I went on Google. What kind of camera should I use? And I found out that one of the best uh, cameras you can use is the camera from your iPhone. So I have this nice iPhone that I use the camera uh, on that for everything else. I use it there. I have a tripod from my my old camera that I had. And, and so the, the two areas that I saw that I could benefit from, because I remember the first video I did in the same room when I used my iPad, was the lighting and the sound. And so I bought myself on Amazon. I think it was about $9.99. No, I'm sorry, $22.99. Got myself a nice light. I would tell you the model of it, but Again, I don't want to violate any rules of uh, merchandising if I'm not uh, being 
if I don't have written consent from the organization that I'm of that product. Uh, but if that changes, I could I could tell you the light. I don't have a problem with it. But you can go to Amazon. You see a bunch of them. You get one that fits your needs. And I may end up uh, getting myself something a little different than what I have now. But again, it was 22 bucks. Uh, and then I wanted to focus on the sound because I just didn't feel that the sound was clear enough and really gave me what I wanted coming from my Mac, uh, my computer. So I went out and got myself a little microphone so you can see the little doohickey around my collar. And I... When I, when I listen to videos, I think I sound a little bit better. But again, it's not how I feel. It's how you feel because I want to make my videos as, as easy for you to, to hear and listen to as possible. And then you just get on and you just continue through the trial and error. Um, it's interesting because there's some people that are just interested in the process of seeing somebody new develop a YouTube channel into, into what it becomes and so on. And there's sites um, online where you can make little thumbnails where you can see the thumbnail in the front of my videos for the for the ass sabado channel but so i just thought i'd get on here um show you a little bit about my youtube journey uh, where we talk about my retirement journey and part of my retirement journey is the is the youtube journey and that youtube journey is creating a video this isn't something that i grew up doing and this is something that's kind of interesting to me and i think it's as a person who's looking to have some reach, I think YouTube is the right form for it. And, uh, you know, and so I thought I would share with you for anybody that might feel intimidated, you could get on and, and, and do exactly what I'm doing and, and talk about what you need to talk about. We all have a story to tell about something that's critically important. And there's, a, there's somebody out there that, that wants to hear it. So I would just suggest get started. Start working on it. If you need somebody to talk to about it or you want to get a second opinion on certain things to do, leave a, leave a message in the comments or send me an email to uh, the real Saba Domingo at uh, gmail.com. But until the next time, thanks again. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button so that way we can continue to build the channel and continue getting having real conversations with real people out there because I care about you and want to help you in any way that I can. All right, folks, have a good rest of your day, and we will catch up soon.